One final coda to the story of Ford's River Rouge plant was a battle over unionism in the 1930s and the 1940s. On this very overpass in 1937, organizers from the United Auto Workers Union attempted to pass out leaflets to several thousand Ford workers on a shift change. They were met there by Ford security forces uh, under the direction of Harry Bennett, who was the head of the Ford sociological department, which by the 1930s uh, had become uh, the main wing and arm of Ford designed to keep unions out of the plant. A Detroit Free Press photographer was on the scene to capture what happened next as somewhere between two dozen and four dozen Ford security members, including uh, people affiliated with the Detroit Mafia, uh, approached the organizers and beat them savagely. Walter Ruther was lifted from the ground several times and slammed against the concrete, was dragged down the stairs and off the plant site. One of the organizers' backs was broken in the incident. It became known as the Battle of the Overpass and in uh, Union history in the United States became a famous moment. Ford won the Battle of the Overpass, but his reputation nationally was severely damaged by uh, the pictures and the publication in national newspapers. And by 1941, with the onset of the Second World War, Ford would be forced to sign a contract with the United Auto Workers Union, and Ford would be a union shop from there to the very present. That's one final feature of Ford's River Rouge, uh, one of the most famous places in American industrial and also industrial union history.